All right, and first things first is we're gonna wanna launch pub. And once pub is up and running, you can alt tab back to the desktop, right click on the player unknown tab, right click on TSL game and hit properties. You're gonna wanna go on over to compatibility and check the override high DPI and disable full screen optimization. Make sure that this is set to application, not system. Hit apply and okay. Next thing we're gonna be covering is in-game settings. So hit the gear in the bottom right corner of PUBG, settings, and it should default you to the graphic settings. We're gonna to wanna to check and make sure that we're running in full screen, not full screen windowed or windowed. And then head on down to resolution, click the highest possible. For me, that's gonna be 2K. For a lot of you, that's 1080p. Some of you, 4K. Although this game would be very hard to run at 4K and I suggest 2K max. Scroll on down to the advanced settings. You can see overall quality, I have custom. Now what I like to do is just go ahead and hit very low, turn my screen scaling up ever so slightly. We're going to turn AA onto medium or high, post processing onto medium or high, and textures I like to have on high or ultra. Hit apply, head over to the gameplay tab. Now this is going to be a big FPS increase for a lot of you. Make sure that inventory character rendering is turned off, and I like to have colorblind mode on. That doesn't have anything to do with anything, I'm just weird. And the next thing that we're going to do to ensure that we have the highest frame rate possible is go into our library on Steam, right click on player unknown, go down to properties, head into our launching options. And if you look down in the description, you're going to find this string of commands here. There's a couple of items you'll need to customize in the options where it says refresh your monitor's refresh rate, delete everything in the brackets, including the brackets. And here you're going to want to fill in your monitor's refresh rate. And next thing you're going to want to do after the refresh rate is entered is you're going to need to enter the maximum memory your computer can use. So for me, I have 32 gigabytes and in megabytes, that is 32,768. If you do not know what your RAM is in megabytes, just look down in the description. I'll have a quick and easy conversion chart. And if yours is not listed down below, just times your total RAM in gigabytes by 1024. Second part of this segment is going to be for people having performance issues. Whether that be yogurt looking textures, lagging, stuttering, rubber banding. If you follow the preceding steps, all of that should clear up for you. So firstly, we're going to ensure that everything is up to date being our Windows operating system and GPU driver. Just hit the Windows key or click the button in the bottom left corner and type in update. Now as soon as you see check for updates, you can go ahead and click on that. Click the check for updates button and wait for it to do its search. And if Windows finds something to update, go ahead and let it install. Once it is done, it may prompt you to restart your system, but we can do that once everything is completed. Next, we need to check that our GPU driver is up to date. We'll start with NVIDIA users. If you do not have GeForce Experience already, it's available on their webpage here. Link will be down in the description. Just go ahead and click the download button, wait for it to download, open, extract, run and install. And once GeForce Experience is all installed, you should be met with a window similar to this, if not exactly the same. Click on the Drivers tab and check for updates. Once it is finished checking for updates, it'll either say you have the latest graphics driver or you need to download. If necessary, follow the prompting to download and install the driver. And once completed, it may ask you to restart your system again. Like before, we can just wait till after we're done everything to restart. And of course, for you AMD users, there is something very similar to GeForce Experience. It's called AMD Adrenaline or Radeon Adrenaline. So just head on over to this webpage. Link will be down in the description. And go ahead, hit the download button. Now, I'm not too sure how this one exactly runs because I do not have an AMD system, but I imagine it's very similar to the GeForce Experience. It's an auto-detecting system and it will detect which graphics card you are using and update the driver as necessary. And next thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that our hard disks or SSDs are running as optimally as possible. So firstly, when it comes to optimizing disks, we're gonna head back down to the start menu, type in percent, temp, percent, hit enter. Now in this file, this is where Windows is storing everything for temporary usage. Anything that you do delete from here can easily be replaced. Anything in here can be deleted without any repercussions. So what you're gonna to need to do is click on the top one, go all the way down, shift click on the bottom one, which selects all items in your temporary folder and hit delete. Now, if something like this pops up, click the do this for all current and skip. Some people in my last video were telling me that they had 29,000 items, three gigabytes, 50,000 items. So be sure to tell me how much you guys deleted in the comments below. 
And once everything's deleted from your temporary folder, make sure you empty your recycling bin. And next thing that we can do is open up our file explorer, head to this PC, and right click on our C drive. Go over to properties, and here we have a disk cleanup option. And now you can go ahead and check every box on the side here, and click OK. We're going to want to delete these files. We're only saving about 13 megabytes, but every megabyte counts. All right, and still in our C drive properties, we can go to the Tools tab and check for any system errors that may be causing issues with your performance. Let it scan may take a few moments. SSDs will scan quicker than hard drives. As you can see here, no errors were found, so we can go ahead and close that. This next step, guys, is going to be for everyone using NVIDIA GPUs, which I know is most of you out there. So head down to the NVIDIA control panel by right-clicking on the desktop. Once you're in the control panel, you're going to need to click on change resolution. Now click on your main display and make sure that your refresh rate is as high as possible. For me, that's going to be 165. Click that, apply, and yes. Once our refresh rate is set, go to adjust image settings with preview. Click on the tab that says use my preferences emphasizing and slide it all the way over to performance. Hit apply. You should adjust your image preferences manually and you can do this by clicking the take me there button. And in here you can see all the different options when it comes to 3D imaging. And mostly everything in this window is gonna be set to where we need it, but there are a few different things that we can change, such as our gamma correction, we're gonna turn that off. Our maximum pre-rendered frames, we're gonna to wanna to select one. Power management, we're gonna to wanna to select prefer maximum performance. We're gonna need our negative LOD bias on clamp. Texture filtering quality, we're gonna want that on high performance. Trilinear optimization, we also want off. Threaded optimization, we want on. And everything else should be already preset for you guys. Go ahead and hit apply. Go back to adjust image settings with preview and make sure that you have checked used advanced 3D image settings. And if you're not comfortable using advanced 3D image settings, then the performance slider is gonna be just as good or the same as advanced 3D image settings. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for all the settings we're going to be changing. You can go ahead and restart your system now and play Player Unknowns whenever you're ready. All right, guys, and as you can see here, I just joined in. 64 left? I literally just dropped. Anyway, just joined into a game, and as you guys probably realize, the beginning of the game is the laggiest portion, and I'm still getting about 100 frames per second at 2K while recording. So I'm more than happy with that. I like to hit around 100. Um, when I'm not recording, I can easily hit 120, even 150. And if you guys still are having some issues with FPS from here, there's a couple of different things you can bump down in the settings tab. Firstly, I would try screen scaling. If you have that at 120, maybe try bringing it down to about 90 or so, even if you have it at 100. And then you can also bring your anti-aliasing and your post-processing down to very low, as well as your textures. Brought me from about 100 to 130, 140 FPS while recording. But things outside, as you can see, don't really look as good. And lastly, always be sure that toggle character render is turned off. This is the thing that I showed you before, guys. You can actually do this in your settings tab if you go to gameplay and inventory render is off. As you can see with our frame rate up in the top left corner there, it makes a huge difference. We go from 120 to 45, 50. So 120, 130 to 45, 50 is about a 50% drop. So make sure that you guys have this off at all times, no matter what. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I know I enjoyed making this for you as always. And if you have any friends who need some help with some PUBG issues, be sure to send them to this video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later days.